Good day, everybody. It is Sunday, December 13th, 2020. And just on the way to the park with little Miss Kenzie. She's got her new purple coat on. The wife seems to be, uh, I don't know, she's kind of got a problem with buying coats for the dog. And buying beds for the dog and buying toys for the dog. It seems like she never misses an opportunity to buy something for this dog. You were spoiled. You are a spoiled little brat. Anyway, so heading to the park. It's actually not raining today. She hasn't been in a few days because it's been raining. And uh, December 13th, big day. Uh, because tomorrow, uh, the electors sit. December 14th. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Uh, I could be wrong. And they're the ones who... Um, who confirmed the electors for President of the United States and Vice President of the United States. Anyway, so um, that's happening tomorrow. The uh, the Supreme Court bid by Texas and I guess at the end of the day it was like 20 other states who signed on board. Uh, that one failed. Basically the Supreme Court wouldn't take it up. They said that Texas has no standing. They're, they're, not, a, they're not a legitimate plaintiff. Um, Viva Fry did a quick video about it. He's saying, you know what, like, there were, it was basically two or three sentences that the Supreme Court said, yeah, you you know, you have no claim here. Um, and uh, he was kind of, uh, I guess, disappointed because he expected more of a response. I guess Alito and Thomas dissented. I want to say it was Thomas. I know Alito, one of them was Alito. But they dissented and say, well, you know what, like, this case ought to be heard, but, uh, but you know, constitutionally, I guess, it doesn't meet the requirements. Yeah, what, whatever. So the electors are going to sit tomorrow, and if you remember back in 2016, after Trump won the election, there was a lot of people calling for electors to act faithless, basically. Be faithless electors and put someone else up, as opposed to the person who won in their state. And, um, and if I recall correctly, there were three or four states in which the electors wouldn't confirm Hillary Clinton in states where she won. And I think one wouldn't confirm Donald Trump in a state where he won. I may be wrong on the numbers, but in any event... Uh, Clinton lost more electors than Trump did under this effort. And, and you got to keep in mind, though, that uh, at the time, you had Hollywood celebrities making PSAs and calling upon electors, please don't confirm him, it will be bad for our country. Uh, bad for them. Bad for the globalists. Bad for the shills for China. But uh, in any event, it, it ended up not happening, obviously, because Trump's been president for the last four years as beleaguered as he may have been. Um, but uh, but yeah, so tomorrow I guess is the big day. We'll see if there's any faithless electors. Now I would not call on electors or anybody else. I wouldn't make a PSA saying, please protect us from Joe Biden. Please put Donald Trump up instead. But who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, I could see a couple of states or electors saying, we can in good conscience uh, give these states to Joe Biden because of the irregularities and what appears to me to be outright fraud. Uh, that's my opinion, YouTube. Not that YouTube's monitoring what I do. Uh, I'm not a big big name channel. I don't have a lot of subscribers. Um, that uh, it may be that, that you know a number of electors may say we can in good conscience confirm Joe Biden. There were just too many irregularities. I mean, the fact they had 20 states sign on board Attorney generals, uh, you know, state officials who said, "Yeah, this Supreme Court has to hear this case." There was just too much shenanigans going on, and and the shenanigans were were uh, you know weren't based on fraud or anything like that. They were based on the fact that Pennsylvania and a number of other states uh, put into place these policies with regards to elections that were arrived at unconstitutionally. I think in Pennsylvania, they have to have a ballot initiative, a ballot item, to change the way in which votes are cast. And they didn't. It was just put out by the uh, Secretary of State uh, in, Georgia, or in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Georgia too, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so much, so many moving parts in this election. It's been a real clusterfuck. Now, there's people, of course, calling for secession. 
You know, you got people saying we should secede. Uh, a government official in Texas said, well, maybe we should form a union of states that actually respect the Constitution. Talking about the disenfranchised states, right? The ones that, you know, filed suit with the, with SCOTUS and SCOTUS wouldn't hear. Um, it, you know, I, I don't blame SCOTUS for doing what they did. They're kind of in a rough spot. Now, there's people on Twitter talking about how Kavanaugh, Gorsuch, and, and Barrett are, are cowards because they wouldn't take this up. They're the ones who said, no, we're not taking this up. Well, they're not the only ones who said they're not taking it up. Um, the rest of the justices, too. But I guess the understanding being, well, they were appointed by Trump. They should be beholden to Trump. Well, no, that's not what the SCOTUS is supposed to be there for. And uh, anybody who's been, you know, lambasting Biden for talking about packing the courts or the Democrats about talking about packing the courts, basically making them a rubber stamp for whatever, you know, majority sits on the bench uh, for laws and, 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 and acts and executive orders that are put in by Democrats, but have to be Democrats packing the courts. Here's the problem with the idea of packing the courts. If the Democrats decide they're going to pack the courts with five more justices, when the Republicans eventually get back in, or whatever iteration of the Republican Party gets back in, whether it's the Trump Party or what have you in 2024, uh, whichever, whichever party gets back in, well, they'll just pack the courts with more of their justices, and then the Supreme Court becomes this useless entity. Anyway, I mean, the United States is fucked right now anyway. It looks like the Republic is done, in my opinion. And it's not because Biden won. It's because of the way in which he's been awarded the presidency. If indeed he ultimately gets inaugurated on the 20th. I, you know, still things could happen. I'm not holding out faith or hope, but things could still happen. In any event. Uh, it, it could go... I mean, I don't know what, it, what happens if... A number of states say we're not giving our we're not giving our votes to Biden. If they can do it so that he doesn't get the 270 threshold, well, then it's not a, he hasn't won the election, and then I believe it's uh, it's decided by uh, the the legislatures, right? Or there's some other shit that goes on in the, in the like either in the federal legislature or something. I don't know. I, like I said, it's a lot of moving parts. It's a complicated, messy thing, and. Uh, you know, can, Canadians are bewildered by watching American elections. Like, I remember when Donald Trump won in 2016. Uh, people were saying, what's what's this electoral college thing? Don't they have, like, a straight-up democracy? I'm like, no. The electors see. And the electors don't have to put forward uh, who is on the ticket. As a matter of fact, in 2016, one elector, one faithless elector, put up Colin Powell. They said we're giving our electoral college vote to Colin Powell. Why Colin Powell? He wasn't on the wasn't on the ballot. Would it be funny if a bunch of electors said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give it to Kanye West. You know, democracy. The republic is a sham anyway. Let's just give it to to, to Kanye West. That would be a hoot. And then of course he'd bring Trump on as an advisor. I'm sure. Or Trump would be calling him, you know, constantly. Or he'd be calling Trump constantly for you know moral support and shit. That'd be hilarious. Candace Owens become part of his cabinet. So let's see what happens tomorrow. It's not going to be a big letter day for me. I'm not going to be watching it with bated breath because I don't particularly care. But, you know, I'll, I'll see what, what pops up on my Twitter feed. I know that the news is going to cover it to some degree. Or they won't. Or they won't because they're like, we don't want to have anything happen that would undermine the legitimacy of a Joe Biden, Kamala Harris uh, administration. And if anything happens in these in these sessions of, of uh, electoral votes uh, then that could do that and then we would be giving we would be giving wind to it we'd be giving air to that to that story to that narrative anyway um, come on man pass me Jesus it took a long time to go through an intersection anyway um, so I'm at the park now I've got puppy in tow and we're gonna go run around at the park and uh, have ourselves a nice day you guys take care of yourselves and uh, I will uh, talk to you all later. What is this clown doing? All right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.